Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching another subscriber questions answer video today. Uh, this is where we answer the most popular questions from the last week. I'm sorry, we've taken a bit of a break over the last couple of weeks with holidays and other bits and pieces, but we're back to it again this week. So the first question comes from Wiener Doom. Uh, Wiener Doom wants to know, should your ears be cleaned on a regular basis or do they pretty much take care of themselves? The answer to that one is that the ear will normally take care of itself quite, quite easily. It will migrate the wax out and it will fall out the way it normally should. In some cases, that doesn't always happen, which is the cases that you see in the videos that uh, of patients that come through to see us. What I would say is it's always uh, a good idea to get your ears checked on a regular basis as far as hearing, just so someone to take a look in there. As with any other medical condition, if we catch something earlier, the better chance we have of treating it for you. So I would certainly recommend getting your ears checked regularly. The next question comes from Kitty Mosley. Uh, Kitty wants to know, why does earwax taste funny? Um, I've never tasted earwax myself, but I would imagine it probably tastes funny because of the ingredients that are in there. You're talking about oil, skin debris, um, bits and pieces that get inside the ear, so dirt and bits like that. But don't forget that earwax is slightly acidic. It's meant to be acidic, so it stops or reduces the risk of things like bacterial infection, so basically stopping any bacteria from taking hold in there. So I would imagine if you did taste earwax, it would probably taste a bit acidic, so a bit sharp or a bit bitter. Uh, but yeah, that's the reason it wouldn't taste very nice, and I wouldn't really recommend eating it either. Uh, the next question, um, it's more, a, a few people have asked the same question, so we thought we'd, we'd, we'd address this one. So we had it from uh, Charlie Boysclare, uh, Krista Monique, uh, Leo Wentline, all asked the same thing, which is why do we not take all of the wax out of an ear canal? Um, the reason for that is that your ear should have some wax in it. Okay, that's the first answer. It's uh, designed to help support and protect the outer ear canal. So you should have some wax in there. Um, what you see us removing the videos is the uh, offending pieces of wax. So if somebody's got the ear canal completely blocked or if it's causing any discomfort, those are the pieces of wax we'll remove. As long as we can see the eardrum, uh, the sound can get through and there's no obvious uh, sign of, sort of irritation from the wax in there, we would leave out the other bits of wax in. When you look at removing things like earwax from ear canal walls, it can be really uncomfortable for the patient. And in some cases, we could actually cause more damage by going in and removing that wax than we would by leaving the wax well alone and letting it do its natural job. So that answers that question. Uh, the next question comes from Jane Sampson. So this is the last question for this video. Uh, who wants to know, do we all have hair in our ears? The answer to that question is yes, we do. We all have hairs in our ears. They are very, fine hairs, uh, they're called cilla, they're on the outer part of the ear canal. Their job is to form a, a mesh around the ear canal, so they grow in all directions and, and form this kind of crisscross that you see uh, here. So what it does, it allows, uh, stops any sort of larger bits of debris from getting into the ear canal. Um, they also help to sort of migrate some of the wax out when it gets to the outer part of the ear as well. So we do all have hairs in our ears. Obviously, as with hair on the rest of our bodies, some people produce a lot of hair and it's very thick. Some produce hardly anything at all and they're very thin. Uh, so it, it really varies from person to person as to as to how thick or, or how much of hair you have. But everyone has a certain number of hairs in their ear canals. Well, I hope you enjoyed the subscriber questions answer video today. Don't forget, please leave us questions. Please leave us comments. We love getting comments from you guys. Don't forget, it's you guys that drive this channel. So. If you have any suggestions for us, by all means put them into the videos. Uh, there will be a few other videos coming up soon, uh, slightly longer ones. We're going to do another premiere coming up as well. So stay tuned to the channel, guys, and as always, take care.